Hi, I'm welcome back. I got another sketchbook idea. And I got my autofocus on. I am so, so sorry. That is now fixed. I did the first two pages in my save my sketchbook. And I kind of got stuck. But I want to do my mermaid contribution. I'm well aware of the existence of this challenge. I just did not feel like participating doing mermaids for a whole month. Um, but I will do one. And this is the one. I'll sketch it over um, using a wax transfer paper. Just to get kind of the general lines. And, uh, Yeah, I know somebody might say when we get down there, but your mermaid has legs, because you do. And that is because I took inspiration from the fairy tale of H.C. Anderson who wrote the original tale of the Little Mermaid, uh, the fairy tale. And it's a much, much different story than the Disney story that you might know. H.C. Anderson actually never wrote happy um, fairy tales. And actually the Little Mermaid, what happened in that fairy tale was that she saw a prince on a ship and ended up rescuing him as a shipwreck uh, survivor. She got him up on a beach and she fell in love with him. But because of her fish tail she couldn't be with him. So she went to an evil mer witch sea witch and um, she asked to have legs to have uh, uh, asked her to give her legs and she said the witch said yeah well I can do that but you will be in agony every step you walk for the rest of your life and um, you have to pay me as well and I want your beautiful voice and the mermaid said yes. And the witch said there's a catch to this. If you do not seduce the prince and become his wife, you, the first night after his wedding to somebody else, you will become, turn into sea foam. And because, as I said, he didn't write happy fairy tales. She did not manage to seduce the prince. He married somebody else. And she turned into sea foam. And as this is the end of Mermaid, I decided to go with the end of the Little Mermaid. Hence, my it is a mermaid. But she got, she got feet because she gave everything for the impossible love of a human prince. There's a whole side story to this, and there often actually was in um, in his fairy tales about. There's always God and. Christianity in there somewhere and actually if she had been able to marry the prince 
she uh, she could have gotten herself an immortal soul, which she didn't get because she didn't marry him. But actually, after this happens, where she turns, her body turns into sea foam, there was somebody else who picked her up, and they were the daughters of the wind. And they also ha didn't have an immortal soul, but they could create one by finding good children. And help people, like, um, if they, they went to the warm parts of the world and they would, um, blow cooling winds on, on people who felt too warm. So in, if they did that for 300 years, they would get an immortal soul and be allowed into heaven. So that was kind of the Christian part of that. And <laughs> the thing about, I don't mind that he had a Christian motif in there. The thing is that in most of his, his fairy tale, where he adds these things, they, they seem awkward and weird and somewhat out of place. Um, it's like an extra fairy tale he, he he adds to the main fairy tale and at the time mind you this was in the 1800s I think it was kind of like a something he did to to make it to get people to to buy it so to speak he Every story at the time had to have elements of, of God and Christianity, especially when it it had something supernatural in them. Here she is. Her hands and feet are and legs are turning into sea So she gave up everything for love, and she got nothing back. It's quite a lengthy fairy tale. Most of his fairy tales are very long and detailed. I like my drawing. <laughs> Very handy and nifty way of avoiding drawing small hands and feet. Let's put a part of a dolphin in here just for the sake of it. Fill in this corner. I 
that's a very thick nosed dolphin. So, today is the 31st of May. I want to date these because um, it's my sketchbook. So I'll put my name probably somewhere in it. But there's no point in, in signing each page. So that's a quick sketch of a mermaid and something that looks more like a prehistoric reptile. But hey, it's a sketchbook. And you got a sketchbook story out of it too. I hope you enjoyed this and um, please throw me a like and if you haven't already please subscribe and I got more pages to do so there will be more black lining line drawings coming for me eventually so see you bye bye